Dear onward students, you are welcome to another section of equity valuation and analysis. And in this session, we want to look at characteristics of industry. And when we are talking of characteristics of industry, or before we start, what do we by industry? Industry is the group of firms that produce similar goods. I said industry is what? Industry is the group of firms or let me say combination combination of firms that produce similar goods that produce similar goods similar or substitute goods so that's a simple meaning of industry now what are the characteristics of this uh, industry Let's look at it. What are the characteristics? When we are talking of characteristics, you know, we are talking about the basic industry. We have different types of industry. We have engineering industry. We have food and beverage industry. We have financial industry. We have agricultural industry. We have a lot of industry around. But for the purpose of this course, we we'll look at the basic industry we have. And we are talking about basic industry. These are also called what? They are called the base. And it's usually they are responsible for obtaining and transforming raw materials from its most primary phase. And in this way, create semi-finished goods that later other industries will use in production of final goods this time for consumption. That's one by basic uh, industry. And generally, there are heavy industries. All they are these basic industries, they are heavy industries since they consume very large quantities of raw materials. And in addition, this type of industry usually require very high capital investment, given the amount of resources that are responsible for transformation. So that's a uh, on that. And when I'm talking of characteristics, characteristics of industry, every industry require what? We are talking of characteristics. The industry requires raw materials. The industry requires semi-finished goods. That is, in the industry, it produces semi-finished goods. It involves big investments or less competition. There is highly qualified staff. And we also have environmental impact. And aside this, let's look at the basic types. Now, the type of basic industries we have, we have extractive, we have mining industry, we have steel industry, sorry, under the extractive industry, we have mining industry, and a sample of mineral or metallic, or some of the products we, are, we, we used to get under mining industries are gold, and some of these products, some are metallic, some are non-metallic. We have gold, we have slivers, we have copper, we have flint as part of extractive products that we got from extractive industry. And one of the extractive industry is mining industry. There are a lot of industry we, we have. And before we go further, anyway, we are still under extractive. Let's clarify the extractive industry first. It is still the same under mine industry that we have non-metallic mining. We are talking of non-metallic. We are talking about granite. It's also part of this product we get from mining industry. We have marble, we have clay, we have esmeralda, and we have sapphire. Everything is under mining industry. And then, now we also have another industry which we call oil industry. And under oil industry, under oil industry, there are major three types of phases there. We have upstream, we have midstream, and we have downstream. So we are talking of upstream. Upstream businesses consist of companies involved in exploration and production of oil and gas. 
So the upstream segment is characterized by high risk and investment capital, extended duration as it takes time to locate the and drill, as well as being technologically intensive. That is the upstream. We have midstream. Midstream businesses are those that are those that focus on transportation. They are focused on what? On transportation. And they had one that are responsible for moving of extracted raw material to refineries to process the oil and gas. And the midstream companies are also characterized by shipping, trucking, pipelines, and storing of raw material. Those are the midstream industry. And the last type is downstream industry. And when I'm talking of downstream industry, this one are basically focusing on refineries. Then stream businesses are the refineries. They are the company responsible for removing impurities and converting oil and gas to products for the general public, such as gasoline, jet fuel, eating oil, and asphalt. Those are the types of industry we have in reef. And before we leave this uh, section, let's briefly look at the characteristics we said earlier. Remember, we said that the straw material is one of the characteristics. That is, there are fast majority of this industry that are characterized by working from different raw material in the initial phases. And aside that, in the basic industry, there is semi products or semi finished products. So the basic industry are in charge of producing semi finished products so that other industry can then use them for manufacturing of the final products. And we have big investment and less competition. It indicates that this industry are dedicated to producing every machinery and therefore the initial investment is very, very high. And very few companies are interested in entering this uh, industry or cannot even afford it, which makes the competition to be very, very low. And lastly, sorry, second to last, is highly qualified staff. So while other simpler industry can survive and function with personnel of all skills level. All these type of industry workers will be highly trained to be able to function efficiently. Those are the basic industry, those that has to do with industry from the at least industry that provide good for other industry. And lastly is environmental impact. Due to the amount of the waste they generate, whether they are gases released into the air or waste that end up in the river, this industry are the one that can create the most danger in the environmental feed. So that's uh, about that regarding the character risk